Hello friends! Today we are going to be working on the how to half double crochet part four in our six basic crochet stitches and yeah so today is going to be half double crochet. Half double crochet is amazing. Um, it is abbreviated HDC and in UK terms it's called a half treble crochet stitch so just be really careful on your um, type of pattern that you're using wherever the crochet artist is from that created it make sure you're using the correct stitch while you are crocheting so the half double crochet is super simple and you can do all kinds of stuff with it you can make scarves baby blankets some people use it to make sweaters I like it to create hats there is a hat pattern called the beehive beanie and it uses this part single crochet but from here up every two so there's half double crochet half double cro crochet single crochet um, is the pattern for the top of this beanie um, but the beanie itself, like one of the rows is done in the third loop of the half double crochet, which gives it this really cool, just almost kind of textured look right along here. Half double crochets can, they're very versatile. All right. So let me make my quick chain stitches here. All right. We'll get started on how to half double crochet. So I think this will probably be maybe a few more. Just so I have enough. There we go. All right. So a half double crochet is taller than a single crochet, but it is shorter than a double crochet stitch. So it's kind of in the middle. And with it's a lot similar to a single crochet stitch except it starts with an extra yarn over in the beginning so for this one we are going to go into the second chain from the hook but before that we're going to yarn over insert our hook into the chain yarn over again pull up a loop so just like with the double crochet we have three loops on our hook but instead of doing a yarn over and pull through two and a yarn over pull through two like we would for the double crochet, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three. So I'm going to show you again. So we yarn over, insert our hook into the stitch, yarn over again and pull up a loop, yarn over one more time and pull through all three. So yarn over insert your hook into the chain yarn over again pull up a loop yarn over again pull through all three sometimes your hook might have a hard time going through all of three of the loops at once what i like to do is i like to rock my hook a little bit i'll show you here in a second so yarn over insert your hook yarn over again to pull up a loop yarn over and then you can see it's kind of gets a little stuck and if you just rock your hook a little bit it helps pull it gently through without dropping the loop that you're trying to carry through so yarn over insert your hook yarn over again pull up a loop yarn over again and pull through all three yarn over insert your hook into the chain yarn over again pull up a loop yarn over again pull through all three and like I showed in the video where one of the people who are our friends commented that they wanted to see how I hold my yarn again this is how I hold my yarn and I use my fingers to hold this part while these ones hold the yarn 
And then this holds my work here, and then my pointer finger holds the working yarn on my hook. So you go through, yarn over again, pull up a loop, yarn over again, pull through all three. Yarn over, and just like with the single crochet and the double crochet, once you get used to it, that working yarn is just going to be sitting there and you can quickly pull it up. You just have to practice. Pull th oh, sometimes that happens too. You just work through it. Yarn splitting can be a pain in the hiney. <laughs> all right, see how that yarn was there waiting for me? Yarn over again, pull through all three. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again, pull through all three. And then, like I said in the other videos, the more you practice, the faster you get, and the faster you get, the more cool stuff you can create. So this is video four of our six part tutorial. The next video that I'm gonna be making is the treble crochet video, which um, it's a little more in depth. It's got a few extra yarn overs and it makes a very tall stitch. So I've got two more here. You can count your chains, one, two. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And you can chain. And that is our half double crochet tutorial. Like I said at the beginning, the half double crochet is super fun. It's super easy. And what's really neat is it gives you three loops that you can work into when you are working on your next row. There are your main two, your front and back loop, and then there is a sneaky third loop right back here. And when you work into that, it pops the front and back loops from the top out, just like we saw with this hat. This row right here was worked into the third loop and it just, it adds great texture to projects and it's just, it's a fun stitch to make. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I would love it if you would like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends who are interested in learning how to crochet because I like to help people and hopefully this helped you learn something new today. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.